I throw my hands up in the air sometimes, singing hey oh. Um, anyway, it's winter. I'm gonna raise some pumpkins here. By raise, I mean R A Z E. Oh. Boop! Yeah. Making some pumpkin juice. Because right now I'm not doing much of anything else. Let's see what kind of spirits we're looking at today. Uh, spirits are in good humor. That's passable. Just gonna grab my uh, amethysts over here. Oh, is she gonna give me a second chance? There's a letter in the mail. Maybe. So okay, okay, so in the last episode, I need to explain something here. Uh, Penny left me a note in the mail saying to meet her after dark in the bathhouse. And my stupid ass was so excited after reading that note that I didn't take in. Because I just assumed it was the date. Like, I saw it, and I was like, it said, meet me, and I'm like, oh, it's that thing. Where you meet her at the saloon, you know, and go on the date. Because I've seen that before. I've seen other people do that. Anyway, well, of course, obviously, I missed the context of the note. I went to the wrong place to meet her. And it's weird, because I saw her walking around outside, nowhere near the place where the note actually turned out to be telling us to meet, which was the bathhouse. So now, it's been two days since then... I went there last night, but I don't know. Hello there, dear. I hope your farm is doing well and send you a little something for my... No, but it was... It was supposed to be... I'm eating this right now. I don't care. It's good. It's good for you. Please give me a second chance. Tomorrow we're all gathering in front of Marnie's house for the Festival of Ice. I don't care about the Ice Festival. I care about Penny. She's my one and only and I stood her up. And I still feel bad, but I'm just gonna try not to be so... I mean, even though I'm kind of sort of just, you know... I mean, being sarcastic a little bit, you know? It's not like I'm really depressed about it, but... Still, I should have been a better man. In the words of Brian McKnight, should have been a better man. Should have been a better man! See, it even fits with this music. You should have been a better man! Oh no! Whatever will I do? I guess nothing. Three jars of purple iridium star milk. Sunday, I suppose we could go visit the traveling merchant. I don't think she has anything that I really need anymore, though. It's like we're not trying to get red cabbage in year one here anymore. That was one of the biggest reasons you'd go see her before. Plus, there's like, you know, sometimes she'd have like rare furniture items, but now we can just make anything we want. The stuff we got from Robin. So like the like the biggest thing that I maybe would want to pick up here would be the puffer fish. Because it's good for a side quest. But I'm not even gonna do that. Because I am too rich right now. Actually, can I just walk there from the The place that sells the four columns? I have enough money to get one now. Question is, which one do I want to get? I think I actually know, but I'm not sure. How's it going? Sometimes observe the local villagers. Ha ha ha! So we go in the door here. Shrine of Illusions. Change your appearance. No, I do not want to do that. But we step on the warp point here, and look at this. Dark Shrine of Memory, the statue stares through you. Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, make an offering of one strange bun. I don't have a strange bun, though. I mean, I have a big bun. Man, I gotta get, let me see what, um... Let's see something here. No, she's still with ten hearts with me. She's obviously forgiven me for the terrible thing that I did to her, but that doesn't mean I should stop. I should keep with the gifts, so as not to decay our friendship. So let me go now. Let me go fix up this mix-up. Maybe I just need to, oh, I might need to give her another... Well, no, because the flower icon was still by her name. So maybe not, I don't know. I don't know where you are. I'm wasting valuable mind time right now, though. I am not here. Oh, uh, they might have gone to the little church thing in the store. 
I'm not gonna mess with it right now. Let's get up there as fast as we can. We could chop these trees as well, but we're not gonna do that. All right, well, something tells me we might not get as lucky today with the stairs. We got really lucky with them yesterday. Once we found a hole that took us 11 floors down in one jump. So you don't see that too often either. We're finding a lot of notes down here, I've noticed. Those seem like fairly easy things to find. Wow, these guys are tearing my ass apart. But I don't care because they may drop more notes and or spicy heels. They also never seem to run out either. Uh, is that all of them? Nope. I was gonna say. Alright. Back to what we came here to do. Yeah, I'm not even sure if there's a point to mining copper anymore. Aside from possibly, like, making copper bars to make more of something. Something that we already have. That's the thing, too. Just because you already have something doesn't mean you might not want to make more of it. Case in point, you know, preserves jars, casks, the usual. I'm kind of trying to figure out in my head if it's worth it to just buy the stone from Robin. Because she sells it for either 20 or 50 each. I want to say it's 50, just to be on the safe side. But if it is 50, and it takes 99 to make a staircase, then, well, that's... You know, that's 5,000 for every floor you go down. For every 100,000 you spend, you get 20 floors. That doesn't seem worth it, but... On the other hand, if you just splurged and spent 500,000 to go down 100 floors... In that one trip, you could potentially find enough... Well, you're not, though. You're not gonna find enough iridium to make back a million dollars. Or even 500,000. I mean, I guess at this point, it's still a big deal if you make six digits off of selling one thing. And plus, you still have to make iridium bars out of them, which means you would need to have the furnaces for that. Man, some, 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 blech. For some reason, I can never seem to hit those without them hitting me. I don't trust my timing enough or something. Oh boy. Thank you. Uh oh, overrun with monsters. Here we go. Let's finish them up, baby. Finish them up and come to the palaces. It's like, which palace is he supposed to go to? Come to the palaces. Uh, what were you doing? Trying to turn around in midair. Oh, shoot. The other one didn't split off, so I thought... So for the briefest of moments, I thought, well, what if that's because he's transparent, and the other one was transparent, so I thought he wouldn't break off either. And then he did. Getting close here. We better eat up again. Oh, hi there. Oh, boy. Get in there. Yes! Dun, 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 dun. I love hitting those exact notes because it's such three weird notes. Three of the weirdest notes ever. Da, da, da. You kind of hope that they do it again there, but then they just go da da da. That's really easy to sing. Hi there, bats. Long time no see. Oh, whoop. Get on the way. <laughs> Grab some iron ore while we're at it. Ooh, hey, there's already one here. Thank you. And one right there, wow. A little bit of luck to make up for what just happened there. It's already 10, 10 p.m. though, so we're not gonna get much else done here. I have to keep trying though. Ah, it's 11.40, we should probably get out of here. Yeah, so earlier this week I was actually, I actually delayed a stream because I was watching somebody else and they were the best part of Dragon Quest XI and I wanted to see them get to that part. So I stuck around and then just before I left their stream I said something in the chat like well 
you know, I was supposed to start streaming a half hour ago, so I better get over there, so take care of y'all, and I just said goodbye. And then the guy who was streaming actually said, yeah, see you later, uh, be careful with that accidental self, or, uh, well, I don't remember the exact words, it was like, be careful with the unintentional self-promotion there. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah. I didn't realize until after he said that that it could have come across that way. So sure was. I was trying to make it sound like, hey, you know, I'd put off a stream to watch you. Like, as a compliment, you know, but uh, I guess different people take things different ways. Like, I got like six secret, or five secret notes here. Huh. So, I don't know, man. Um, well, so that's one day. One day down, two to go. Still not sure what's going on with Penny. I guess we're putting that on the back burner for a little bit here. This is like the late game, though, when there's really not that much to do. And we've only just started winter here, like, seriously. Oh, today's that festival, too, isn't it? Of course, I guess we don't have to go to it, but... There's no sense in looking at this, either. Very good humor. Whatever. Let's get this little bit of free money here. I mean, there's no telling how much that's added up to at this point. Oh, I got it to the animals. Well, oh, it seems awfully clear outside today. I guess this is what they call a clear winter day. Yeah, but I am kind of curious, actually, I guess what people might think about... Did I really come across like I was self-promoting there? Because that's kind of... That's like I was saying, I intended it as like a compliment. As like, you know, that even though I'm supposed to stream, I'm putting it off. Potentially, you know, losing viewers and or money because I'd rather be watching you. So. But I guess, you know, I did make light, I did make mention of the fact that I was streaming, which it's not considered professional to call that, you know, to call to attention that fact, I guess. So, I don't know. I guess I can see that. Just sometimes I think people get a little carried away with enforcing rules on a video game streaming site. Like, we're playing video games. This is not... This is not, uh, you know, school or... Could you move? Like, really? seriously, dude? I guess as long as we're going to the wizard's house so frequently, we should probably bring gifts for him. As in, uh... Gifts. Do, 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 do. I guess we can look look in on these here real quick. Oh yeah, sure enough. We got pale ales. Yeah, that's what they are. That's what they are. Festival of Ice. No. Now it's gonna automatically go there when I. What did I just pick up? Oh, yeah, pale ales. Whatever. Drink in moderation. Yeah, whatever. I think there might still be time to go see him after the festival is over. I don't know, we'll find out after it's over, I guess. <laughs> I'm entering the video championships too. How's it going, Robin? Oh, okay. Is Penny here? I need to apologize again. I can't do it enough. Hi. What snow mention we make? Uh, something funky. Okay, that sounds like fun. Yeah, I bet it does. Too bad we didn't have fun in the bathhouse the other night. Can't feel your fingers anymore. <laughs> yeah, I bet it can. Hey, somebody's late. Oh, <laughs> oh Clint! It's been a year, man. Ah. Welcome to the Festival of Eyes. The highlights. It's ready to complete. Yeah, I'm ready to complete. Let's do it. Ready to compete, not complete. I get it. Where's Penny? Oh, there's my. Oh, she's alright up there. Okay. 
Maybe it's okay. She's over here on my side of the lake. That means she's cheering for me, right? Y'all too slow. Y'all too slow. We'll catch a fish faster than all three of you combined. 22 seconds left to go. That's enough time to catch one fish, but not enough to catch any more. But I'll cast my line anyway. Just on the off chance I get to finish. Oh man! Plus, we're gonna let me finish. <laughs> like Kanye, but I guess not. <laughs> Look at all the smelly ass fish. That's a lot of fish. That's a lot of fish. Gag. The smell. Let's see who caught the most. Where this year's ice fishing competition is. Mega Man! With seven big slimy fish. What do I get? 2000 G? Hell yeah! I'll take that action. Man. That was awesome. I can't believe I won. Well, time to head home. So there's another thing we could talk about. Silent protagonists. I love Dragon Quest XI. Not gonna lie. But, I will say though, that being a silent protagonist really does kinda suck, you know? Because, you know, and I get it, I get why people, I get the appeal. Well, people say the appeal of it is so you can put yourself in the hero's place. It's like, yeah, but, like, you don't sympathize with yourself, right? I mean, <laughs> like, you don't put yourself into a story. Like, if you were going to write a story, you wouldn't put yourself into it so that you could sympathize with yourself. Which is kind of ironic that I'm saying that, considering the screenplay I wrote in 2004. But, uh... <laughs> Still though, like if you're gonna sympathize with a character, you sympathize with someone else, not yourself, you know? Like you can't really put yourself in, in the shoes of another character, but then also that character be a, a separate person. Well that's the thing though, you can. But then that's the whole point of why silent protagonists are pointless, because you can put yourself in the shoes of another character, even if they have the ability to talk, like, you know. Yeah, at least I think so, but you can't. I don't know. But anyway, well, let's try these notes out. First, get them in the top row. Can't we just do that? Yeah. Here we go. Alex's strength training diet. Complete breakfast, salmon, dinner. Also, that gives you the information about what people like. There are only a few older bachelors in town, and none of them are perfect. Harvey is really anxious and weak. But I know he would make a, a, a legal, I thought that said legal, loyal and devoted husband. He likes coffee and pickles. Elliot is a bit, fe bit, a bit fepish and melodramatic, but he does have a nice chin. He likes crab cakes and pomegranates. You forgot to mention duck feathers. Shane is messy and antisocial, but I think his gruff exterior is a defense mechanism, insulating his softness with wolf. He likes beer, pizza, and pepper poppers. Cool. Okay, that's good. It's Penny's handwriting. I want to get everyone something they love. Mom, parsnip, glazed lambs, no beer! <laughs> Jazz, fairy rose plum pudding, Vincent, pink cake, grape, Mr. Molnar, leek, fried mushroom heads. Yeah. Granny Molnar, beet tulip. It's a state, it's a note of Mars. Parts is still needed for my greatest invention yet. Well, there's her like list. <laughs> my greatest invention yet takes a gold bar, iridium bar, battery pack, diamond, and strawberries. Great. Awesome. Someone is waiting for you on level 100 in the Skull Cavern. Oh my god! Dude, I gotta go! Oh, that's awesome! Wait, 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 hang on. There, that's a better gift for you. How do you like that one? Well, I guess that festival did get us through the second day pretty quickly here. Might have a slightly shorter video than usual. And by shorter than usual, I mean like under 25 minutes here. About the time it takes to TAS Celeste. Arf. Right at the end of the sentence, on cue. I gotta tell ya. Can I... Thank you. Bomb. That. And... Those. 
Well, every time I come back here, I have more of those than I started with. And that's good. Of course, I think part of the reason for that is because we got ambushed by those monsters that dropped them. Ha <laughs> ha. Now she's gonna hurry and she'll get there a little faster, which gets us to the mines a little earlier. You know what I'm gonna do this time? Because normally, because I didn't look at the spirits. Maybe it's better not to know. Because then when you look at the spirits, you get these expectations, and it's like, oh, well, you're supposed to have good luck today, or, well, it makes sense, we had bad luck today. What if you just go in not knowing what your luck was? At least then you have, then you're liable to be super surprised, can we? Seriously? Wow. Alright, yes. Gonna get there nice and early. Gonna have us a super mining trip today, I hope. At least we gotta try to get to level 100 anyway. I don't know though, man, that's hard to do. Like, especially if you don't bring stone steps with you. My expectations are very low for actually getting there, but we have to try. We have to try, uh, why is that there? All right, let's do it. Go. Level 100, come on. It's 10 a.m. Uh, stop taking up inventory space with those. Although maybe don't. So the notes are kind of like a built-in strategy guide. That's cool. This is not good, what I'm seeing so far here. I know, I totally agree, bud. No. No. One staircase, please, just one. You want to bet the slime has the staircase? Have to go kill the slime, you know. There it is. Man, it only took us an hour and ten minutes to get to floor two. Ah, and about five minutes to get to floor three. I don't know what the equivalent is there. It's gonna be right there, isn't it? No? I was about to say, I can already tell it's bad luck, but is it really? Fell eight levels. Ouch. Oh wow, driving iron next to a spike wheel, don't you? Let's just run for this one. There will be a staircase open already at the end of it. Yep, there always is on these floors. Move it. Stop it. <laughs> stop it, I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Stop it. Stop spawning, especially without making your noise. Well, of course, if you make the noise, that's annoying too, so maybe just don't. I guess the good news is, even if you don't get too far, you still come out with stone. Man, look at us go. We need to eat. We need to eat after we land. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is, um... It's floor 27, and it's 12.30, so we're actually ahead on schedule here. But are we always going to be this lucky? I mean, it took three holes to get us there. I don't think we're going to find 12 holes in one trip down here. Oh, I see the guy. I see the thing already. Let's just go for it. Huh. Yeah. Let's use a bomb here. The luck must be pretty good based on what I've seen so far. But, uh, so far it's pretty well inconclusive. It's, overall, it's been great, but occasionally there's gonna be that one floor that just refuses to give it to you. Oh, hi there. Got a red slime egg. I'm not sure what that is, but... Oh, 
Oh, hello, Mr. Napster Bloke. Come on to play. Sorry. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. hello, hello, Sesame. Fifteen levels. This must be a good luck day. Holy crap, hello. Okay, floor 48, so we're not quite halfway there. We're almost halfway. Huh? Shit, man. Thank you. I had a feeling. I had a feeling he was gonna drop it. I don't know why or how. I just did. Grab that stone, baby. Shit, there they go again. Mm-hmm. Gotta stay full, baby. One more? Yeah, we should get we should top it off. Be stupid about this. If we have to use up every bomb we have, then we do. But if we're on course to hit a hundred, then I don't wanna pass up that opportunity because I was afraid to use my bombs. Gold, get it. Alright, good. Uh, 55, that's not that great. It is only 5.30, so let's not be too quick to write this off. Don't write yourself off yet. It's only in your head you, f or in your head you feel that high. Thank you. I was wondering if we ever see another hole. Ooh, yeah, bad, bad, bad. This is a big floor, too. Ah, uh, there was some, something in my head now. It's just saying we're not going to make this energy tonic. That's a nice drop right there. Swing like crazy here. These guys drop them energy tonics a lot, don't they? That's cool. Hello, hello, hello. Don't fly away. You have my staircase. Come back here. I'm also trying not to kill you inside of the wall, so, you know. Oh, thank you. Okay, 62. Uh, you don't realize it's one floor at a time. It's really hard. And this is with me passing up the Iridium, you know, if I've been stopping to get it all this time. It'd probably be at least eight by now, not seven. Yeah, this is not going well at all. It's really not. It's just not nothing, just nothing at all. There's not like really any big cluster of them that I can use a bomb on and feel like I'm getting my bombs worth. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. Jeez. So I shouldn't have stopped to get those big stones either, I guess, but I don't know. I feel like if we are going to make it to 100, the way to do it is going to be... You know, to go in there with stone staircase is pre-made. It just shoots straight down to like 60 or 70. You could probably get the rest of it manually. Let's get this iron, we can make bombs out of that. Whoa! How's my health looking? At what point do we just give up on 100 here and say it's not happening? start picking up the iridium though, you know? Or do we just never give up on it, you know? You can just never give up, I suppose. I suppose that is an option. I'm running as fast as my little legs will carry me here. Ah. We need more hulls though. I'm not gonna get it without more hulls. This is my drop a bomb right here. 
Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, hi there. There are two. Tra there are two exits here. Life elixir. Well, times four. Oh jeez. Holy crap, Aloni man. Oh, I'm. I'm I tried to eat and then another one showed up. Why do they do that so much? They show up and they give you no warning. I hate the way they do that. I just oh, there's no time to react. If only you could just map the sword to a different button. Oh man, what did I lose there? I mean, whatever it is, it couldn't be too important. Yeah, hospital visit, schmospital visit, holy crap. What did we lose? We didn't lose any tools, thank god. We lost... Oh man, we lost our food. The berries, we had like 25 of those left. Uh, we didn't lose the red slime egg, which is okay, I guess. Mm. So, well, we lost any um, spicy eels that we might have picked up. So that's what was in those two slows, spicy eels and blackberry. Anything else is something we picked up on the way down, so it doesn't matter too much. Holy crap, dude. Is that the second time I've died in this thing? I think it is. God, it's just it threw four of them at me, and then when I killed those four, it threw a fifth one. Oh, I, I'm so mad right now, I don't even know how to articulate it. So I can stay pretty mellow, though. I mean, at least it didn't take my stone. So now we have 2,100 stone. That's, uh, 21 floors, I guess. <laughs> Which is nothing. Oh, you know what? We lost those power drinks, too, didn't we? Because there was a... I picked up a few of those, like two of them? Two or three of them. On that one floor where I had to fight the bats. Man, these are turning up all over the place now. I hope these only drop, like, one time each. So I'm not, like, seeing them all the time from now on. Surprisingly easy to pick up, given the thing. I'm just gonna drop the life elixir in there, I don't even care. I'll put the slime egg in here, because I'm not really sure where else to put it. And do that. Grab this pine tar over here. Oh! What, you can just look at them? Oh. Okay, I have no idea what this means, though. Right down, right up, right up, right down, left up, left up, right up, left up, left. Looks like some kind of red circle. Possibly an eyeball. It looks like, like an energy pickup in Metroid 1. <laughs> On a street? Or something? Okay. Oh, there's another one. Uh, well, future self, remember that. <laughs> what is this? It's like a picture of Marty and Jazz in the past. Oh, man. I think that's what it is. That's cool. It's a page from Abigail's diary. Things I love. The smell of carved pumpkin. Keeping an amethyst under my pillow. Oh my god. Chocolate cake. The thrill of spicy eel. And the comfort of mom's blackberry cobbler. I like to eat. That includes the amethyst. Wow. 10.50pm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I can, lo I can still look at this as many times as I want. Oh no. Oh shoot. Well, future self, write that other one down, too, then. You bought a notebook for a reason. Hope you two are doing well. We've sent you your favorite gifts. Pink cake and sunflowers for Haley. Gemstones and wool for Emily. Love, Mom and Dad. Dear Pine Tar. Wow. It's been a weird couple of three days here, hasn't it? Well, okay, then. 
so I guess next time on Stardew Valley, oh my god. I sure didn't see it going this way. Whoa. Well, we got ancient fruit wine. Which, uh, oh, do we put it away or do we keep it? Like, because <laughs> if I make more casks, then, uh, well, what do you make casks with again? Wood and hardwood. Oh, right. And I don't know how much of that I have. I don't know how much time I have here. Uh, wood, I got wood, I got hard. Oh, dude, I can totally make casks. What am I doing? Let's make one, two, three. Well, how much wine do we have? Let me see, 27? Wow, okay. <laughs> well, that's a lot. Well, I grabbed a little more than I needed there, but okay. Uh, I can't believe I'm doing this right now. Like, I don't have time to be doing this, but... I'm gonna see if I can get these down here anyway. Okay, so we'll put one right there, one right there, one right there, one right there. All right, and I might as well go and put wine in these. Otherwise, I'm just making a second trip around to do it again, so... Yeah, it's 1 a.m. We're cutting this close. Well, technically, I'm inside my house, right? So it kind of doesn't matter. All right, I'm not going to have, like, a perfect setup of these, but it's going to be close. Uh, wine, 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 wine. I have some down here that weren't being used. That's weird. Okay, uh... Shit, I'm not thinking fast enough here. It's like 140. Well, I guess for educational purposes, let's find out what happens if you pass out in your basement. Pass out from the smell of the wine in here, boy, I tell you. Well, so not only was I, like, at zero health and zero energy, but I also let myself pass out. We're going to be paying the price for that tomorrow. We're going to feel that one in the morning for sure. But day nine of winter's done, so... At this point, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Eventually we will get to that place. But uh, we'll finish up the basement next time on Stardew Valley, whenever that is. But till then, take care, y'all, and thanks for watching. See you again real soon. Hopefully. <laughs>